Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. I finished my final exam today. I feel released. I feel free. I feel happy. Just pressure not on my head anymore. And I am here to bring you a battle. I was registering a new alt, as you can see. And showdown, uh, the replay viewer is on the other side because my team is over there and stuff. But, um, I face, I'm, yeah, I, I, bleh. Okay, let's try the sentence again. Instead of choosing random bat to uh, register my ult, I decided to give Ubers a shot, because it's been forever since I had an Ubers battle, and this one turned out pretty well, so I figured I might as well post it for you guys. Looking at the team preview, he has some threats. I mean, um, the Darkrai, I'm really hoping he leads off with it, because I have an anti-Darkrai T-Tar, which is so much fun to use. And uh, at first, I didn't even realize he had Sun, but then I took a look, and he actually does have a Groudon. Anyway, the Ho-Oh is going to be... Uh, bit of a problem because ho is pretty much uncounterable and I don't like it and it's a pain in the butt and um, other than that he doesn't have too much I mean the current black can be a pain but other than that as long as I play around stuff I have stuff for everything and the next schedule should be able to just go ahead and sweep so let's get into this battle right now so getting into the battle here he does end up leading off with Darkrai which made me very happy uh, because he's gonna full trap I have a Lumberry superpower brings him down and sand finishes him off Dead Darkrai. First turn. He brings in Groudon. I'm going to predict the EQ go with the Hydreigon. He predicts that and goes for a T-Wave of all things. So my Scarf Hydreigon is kind of useless. I've already changed it to Specs. But I predict the switch out to Fortress. To take my Dragon move. Go for the Fire Blast. And I'm just going to be able to be... I'm going to be able to be able to... To a KO the Fortress with Fire Blast. Yep. I English very well. Anyway, he brings in Ho-Oh. I don't want it subbing up. Because then I basically lose. So I have to go with Rayquaza. Of course it gets the burn with Sacred Fire. And that basically makes her quasi next to useless, so I'm just going to leave it in here. Go for Dragon Claw, get off a bit of damage, and uh, die to a Brave Bird. So I'm going to be able to go back out into T-Tar here, because uh, he can't really hurt me too bad. And why I didn't set up my Stealth Rock here is beyond me. Because, I mean, it wouldn't have killed the Ho when it came back in, but it would have at least helped. Anyway, he sets up his own rocks, which is... Congrats, dude, you played better than me there. He goes back out into Ho, -Oh, and if I had rocks up, this Draco would have killed... But, uh, it doesn't, and he's able to just roost up as I get paralyzed to boot. So, I'm gonna go right back out in the T-Tar. He goes for the Sacred Fire. It does a bit. It does, like, 30? Yeah. Luckily, he does not get the burn. Uh, and I'm, this time, I'm not gonna mess up. I'm just gonna set up my Stealth Rock. Uh, really limit a lot of things on his team that are left, basically. Um, now I go to Latias, predicting the Earthquake this time to try to finish it off. But he T-Waves again. I could've went out in Hydreigon, but I didn't feel like it really um even though it would have been the much better play because now Latias gets critted and now it dies it was actually sub cm uh with roost which would have been able to do massive damage but it doesn't really matter anyway now i can go with the hydragon and just drop a draco and kill something um i believe the Kiram black is going to come in now and i'm just going to leave this thing in as death fodder i mean i don't really need it it can kill everything on its team but it's also slower than everything on its team so it's rather whatever uh, i'm going to bring in jirachi and I'm just gonna Iron Head, it does a bunch. And now I'm just basically gonna proceed to Wish Protect until it dies. And Wish Protect, if you guys don't know, in 5th gen, it has a weird glitch. If you protect on the second turn of a 3 turn outrage or the first turn of a 2 turn outrage, it resets the entire outrage. Which basically means if you protect on the second turn of a 3 turn outrage twice, you can have a 5 turn outrage. And that's exactly what's gonna happen here. Let's count. That's 2 since he last chose the move. As I'm going to wish. I protect here. Which resets it again. So that's three. And uh, it's going to go there again. That's four. As I wish one more time. And uh, I protect on the fifth turn of Outrage. Five turn Outrage. Not bad. As uh, here I believe I just go for the wish. And um, I'm plotting plotting to be evil here basically. I could pass out to my T-Tar, but you know he's going to predict that. And the only real way for me to beat this Groudon right now is for Jirachi to do what Jirachi does. So, get the flinch first turn, get the pair on the body slam, and that's always the hardest thing to get. And, uh, now Jirachi's just going to kind of go to town. He does break through on the first turn of Parafusion. Not through just the para, not through just the fusion. But, Parafusion together? No, it didn't work. Single, by themselves, it worked. Together, it didn't work. But... I get two in a row, and really, I need about one more here. If I can get this one and another, I'm good. I don't, but 
Um, I still think I have the game won completely here. I can go into Excadrill, kill off something, hopefully the Groudon, and he does just leave it in to die. Which means um, he only has his Rush Ram left. I can go out in the T-Tar, set up the Sand, take any hit. I can actually kill it off with T-Tar if I wanted to. But um, I'll be able to Revenge Kill with Excadrill because it's kind of the best Pokemon ever invented ever. So, he's going to be able to kill me off with Draco, because he's actually Life Orb, but that allows me to just go into the most threatening Pokemon in OU of all time, and kill him off. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was a pretty interesting Ubers game. I don't play Ubers that much. Um, uh, also, it's Kyron Black, just kind of died to rocks. Okay, now I won. Um, I don't play Ubers too much, but um, I have a couple teams, and they're kind of interesting. So if you guys want to see some Ubers, I mean, feel free to leave a comment requesting it. But until then, um, I'm finally off, like, for real this time. I'm actually, like, don't have school. So uh, I have an interesting battle coming up for you tomorrow. It's going to be you, you, and I'm feeling like breaking out into other tiers other than just uh, NU. I do have some NU games backed up, obviously, but uh, leave a comment on what you guys want to see next. I also have a bunch of PO battles, which I think I'm going to post rather soon, actually, because they're quite interesting. Lots of stuff in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sit back for the ride. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.